The following film documents the journey of people from all across the globe who gathered over three days in service of Mother Earth. These beautiful souls shared moments of love, joy, grief and bliss while they helped everyone reconnect, remember and celebrate this beautiful planet of ours. This is an attempt to capture their journey in time and space forever. When I was coming back, you know, after my master's, I saw that, you know, large portions of our hills had been chopped away, right, for the NHPC dams and, you know, so on and so forth. There was a lot of destruction, okay, where natural habitat was concerned, and that shook me, you know, that shook my core, totally. And I was like, okay, what can I do with my art? How can I put this across to the people that what we are doing is not a good thing? You see, how can we conserve? How can we save? How can we salvage the plants, the flora, the fauna that was, you know, getting destroyed? Yeah, so basically what we are teaching them is the botanical aspect, you know, the observation of nature in a very thorough manner, right? Mm -hmm. So from scientific and from very illustrated drawings, right, uh, Alien is helping them to translate that into products, into accessories, you know? So this is, this is a part of the jewelry uh, that they are learning from uh, Alien. Okay. Yeah, so this becomes sustainable for them. It's more commercially viable, so they can earn something from that later. I have to attach one loop here and I have to finish this part. Uh, we're creating an altar for the five elements and we're basically gonna invoke the deities of the land, water, fire, ether and earth to be with us and uh, help us spread knowledge of Mother Earth and love and remembrance. My suggestion for you is that you should create your own enemy. First thing is that one. And next thing is that one. Uh, looking at the, all the young students like you. Okay? So in fact, all of them so much obsessed with the Japanese enemy. Okay? Everyone else. So it is not our fault. Actually, it is the creation which they have made such beautifully that everyone will be attracted out of that. And your emotions is directly attached to it. So I thought that how can we make our originals and how can I how can I bring all those students which are going towards Japan? In fact, you are living in India itself. So your heart is inside in Japan. So I should take it. I, I should bring all those young hearts from the Japan to your own place. So this place is itself inside the nature. So we thought that let's keep something else which we find in this area only.
Rebecca end of uh, looking at how to uh, marry art and music together. Gandhi Ashram School is known for its music and uh, as as uh, through this workshop we want to share with everybody exactly what we do at the school mm -hmm. and that is transforming lives through music. Music. The endless combinations of seven simple notes that hide a whole universe within them. They can engulf and transcend any being to a higher state of bliss and ecstasy, which is exactly what the members of Himalaya Shaman offered to their audience. Again, we have to cut it into small pieces and we have to soak it into the water and boil it. We have to cut it into small pieces and soak it for at least for 72 hours. We have done a workshop and we have done a lot of color. We have done a lot of ingredients. We have done a lot of natural ingredients. We have done a We have an online platform and we have a packet of packet of herbal color, a packet of dye, and we have a packet of the original vegetable dye, exactly without any chemicals, so we can differentiate it. We can use this as a painting, so 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 we can use this as a painting. So we can use this as a painting, so we can use this as a painting, so we can use this as a painting, so we can use this as a painting. After that thing, I'll take one of the... Okay. These, these tea leaves are harvested during full moon. Okay? Full moon, the day, so that mostly night is preferable. Because there are stories where actually the men folk go around the tea estate. Lighter, bokera ki, bokera ki, chitu, aunu, faksa ki, aunu, so the wild animals and all, this, that, all of that stuff, right? And the women folk, they go into the tea gardens and pick the tea leaves. If the full moon can cause, not fully, like it doesn't, it's not responsible for, for causing waves, but tidal waves that affect Garsa Bani, plants ma bani, sab pai osmosis ago through, but a kibar, sab pai nutrients maati taane gole gada jai, esko te flavor dekhi nera, sab pai ko eddame ramra sa.
which is what happens as soon as I season it and I start using it, it doesn't happen. It needs to ferment. Ferment irritation is basically no chemicals. It's just mato at for all the chemical. But then the longer you Mashi. 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 Uh-huh. Ha na na kupenda mashi. Mm. Mashi. Na kupenda. Mashi. Yeah. Oh. Achahe. There a mito, mito. I And when we came to this part of the world, we were also in Kenya, uh, in a very small community that also they were only living with the water of the rain. So when we arrived, was everything was okay, it was like everybody, we were family, we were all the same. But then when the rain stopped, we start to see how the water was going down and down and down. So it start to become this tension of that, how much water you use, uh, don't take bath every day, why you are taking so much water, these things that becomes like a tension no? in, in the relationship. We are not anymore family. And we create the, the show like also like an open quest. I feel no like it's not something very clear. Uh, it's more like images and actions that can be open, and each person uh, in the audience will receive whatever they need or they of their own experience. We see so in this way it's like how to do things as open as everybody can receive whatever they need. A river is a river, but here it felt like it was running through people. And the connection and the story and how the culture is so intertwined with the river it was so evident with the sharings and everything. You know, uh, and ask questions that are sometimes very uncomfortable um, for us as humans. So, you know, we often hear people say we are part of nature because a lot of the times we think we are separate from nature, that there is a disconnection. You know, you see a river being polluted and you ask the question, oh, oh a river is polluted, the first reaction is let's clean it. Uh, as opposed to asking the question, why is a river polluted? You know, and you keep asking, uh, okay, why, why, why? Uh, and when you follow that, at the end is the answer that because we feel separate from it. Our bones are made of rocks and trees. Our skin is made of mud. The blood in our veins is made of water, flowing water. The breath is made of the winds that blow. The heat of our bodies is made of the heat of the sun and the moon. And when we die, our bones return to rocks and trees. Our skin returns to the soil. Our blood returns to the flowing waters. Our breath returns to the blowing winds and the heat of our bodies returns to the sun and the moon. So essentially, we are nature and we return to nature. This is the Lepcha origin story. And this is everything that we humans are about actually. Now, the thing that we imagine of having to go to town carrying a bag with an oxygen tank is becoming a reality. 
You can find oxygen cans in Amazon that they're selling in Delhi. There is an oxygen parlor in Delhi that you have to go sit down for five minutes and breathe in oxygen. People are ordering 60 breaths of fresh Himalayan air for 120 rupees through Amazon. And people are okay with it. Today, we see all that. Whatever nature has to offer, we see that, we feel that. We take it to a great job. You know, I wanted an art school that could cater to the grassroots because I felt that they would learn this and they would in turn work right there where it was required. So the, for the first three years that we've exhibited, uh, it was only um, the children of HTNH who were uh, participating, you know, it was, it was their private show. But uh, this turned out to become an event. This art school is now turning into a holistic place, a holistic center where the children of the new generation, you know, they can come, they can explore, they can be themselves and they can find themselves here through creativity. Uh, so yeah, this is hope, you know, like it's uh, finally I feel that uh, we've met the right people, you know, the right individuals and the organizations who now want to come forward and uh, join us for more events in the future and even, you know, sort of uh, uh, take up classes here. So yeah, that's a huge thing. So yeah. <laughs> And it is time now to receive this knowledge and wisdom. I pray that you guys seek this knowledge and wisdom and make time to reconnect the world. And remember that we have the seed within us that we are divinely protected and guided. We are the ones who will make this change. We are the ones who will protect each other and love each other and be the voices. I pray you guys do it. I pray from my heart that you guys do it.